Right, guys. What's up? Welcome back to Irish Shakes. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, last time we had talked was right after the trade deadline. So mm-hmm. we're middle of August. Um, at this point, the Padres have really made no ground, but they're coming off probably what I would consider as the most impressive back-to-back wins that we've seen in a long time from this team. Love it. When they were down in the dumps, you know, again, beat up by the Dodgers and the Diamondbacks. Losing a lot of those games close, like dumb ways. You know, I felt like we should have won a couple more games versus the Dodgers, but we lost it late in the games. Bullpen blew, blew the games. Diamondbacks, I felt the same way. We should have won. Um, yeah, and we, now this. We went 3-1 against the Diamondbacks. Or they went... They won. Well, they won three and one. I hate to see. Um, it was. Didn't we have a lead in all three games. Only, it was sure only three know. games because we're about to play them for four. So oh, okay. it was two and one. Oh. But Dodgers took three and one. Then we got swept by the Mariners. They took right. both of those games, and right. then we got beat up. But yeah, so it hasn't been great. The trade deadline acquisitions that we acquired have not panned out yet. G Man Toy sucks. He's gotten five walks. Hurt. Hurt already? Why are we getting hurt players? Yeah, we put him on the aisle. We put him on Bob's favorite thing in MLB. Yeah, Phantom Isle. Phantom IL. Yeah, uh, total fake news dial. <laughs> this is, he's literally like a rib rib issue. Like he had a cramp or something. He's gotten five walks and not a single hit. Not much. Okay. Nope. Um, Garrett Cooper had his first homer the other night in that a game nice. we lost three to one or Nuke. four to one. Yep. Yeah, it was a good was a good hit. I'm definitely not gonna take anything away from it. Um Gary Sanchez hit the first slam Diego and so yeah, so San let's get Diego. into it. So we did lose the first game versus the Orioles, and the Orioles, by the way, are a great team right now. They're kicking on all cylinders. Are they still in first in their division? Yep. Yep. Um, which is crazy to say for me as a baseball fan, because the Orioles have not been good in years decades if since Cal Ripken I'm just kidding Fuck. <laughs> since Manny and Nelson Cruz were on the same team yeah and that was like a short period of time that they were good when, her, when Chris Davis was Chris doing Davis steroids was doing not steroids yeah he was busted yeah but it was for Adderall that's a performance enhancing drug some would say Someone also say, man, like the party. No, I'm kidding. He had, <laughs> he had a, uh, I'm pretty sure I thought he had like a prescription and then fell off or maybe he had not. the A-Rod prescription. Yeah, that, that sounds right. Um, So we lose the first game. Second game, score 10 fucking runs. Roman already mentioned it. Gary Sanchez hit the first Padres Grand Slam in 120 fucking games. Love to see it. Love to see it. But that was the longest time a team has gone into the season into without the season. a whole grand slam. But Miami's right behind. Where do they have? I think they're 320 days since they have hit one. Oh, we're, we were 377. Yeah. So let them finish out the season with that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jack Flaherty visited San Diego. Hmm. Sucked. Absolutely. As per usual. Not per usual because you, you put out a stat and then during the game – they put out a stat line, and Jack Flaherty actually owns the San Diego Padres. So um, I said you, but the average shakes account. Um, we put seven up on them. Don't the average shakes account put out a tweet saying obviously it was a must win game. Our must win game is as of today seven and zero on the year, but um, must win game yesterday, and said Flaherty hates San Diego, but. The stats that they had on the old TV said 22 innings, two ERA versus the Padres in his career. But was that he's donning a new color? And I donning think I, a new I color. I think I heard one and eight from Han Soto against Jack Flaherty, too. So I mean, Juan Soto had, it was him. one for seven on the series this series. So yeah. Well, thank God we're Big J journalists and we know why he hates San Diego. Yep, not getting into the details. Yeah, we're not, not getting gonna, into the details. <laughs> we're not gonna say anything, but <laughs> but twenty bucks is twenty bucks if anyone wants to be in my DM. <laughs> Any reporters out there? Yeah, you want to know something? <laughs> inside scoop. We can send N N L I deals. N L I. Is that the right word? No, no I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> N 
<laughs> definitely not an IL. Yeah. Um, yeah, ten run, and you know what happens next after the Padres score ten runs? We, I thought we were going to go on a three game run streak of zero runs. <laughs> well, I think it's been four times this year the Padres have gone to score ten or more runs and then get shut out the next right. night. Right. Absolutely wild. It's the worst feeling in the world. It, the worst. Nothing. This. It's that's the crazy stat I've ever heard in my life. Because usually you'd think, oh, 10 runs, we're gonna we're gonna carry the momentum. We're, we're gonna, gonna go, go to the next game. We're gonna go on a run. And then it's like they just lose. They go to sleep that night, and then they wake up the next day, and they're like, mm, do we want to play baseball today? <laughs> I want to know. If, are we still doing the pinata after the game after every win? Because they're just, it feels like it. It feels like they're just dead beat tired the next day after they win. Yeah, I feel like they're hungover. Win. We can't win three in a row. They're all fucking sitting there sipping beers. Yeah, sipping they're beers. all drinking Bud Light. They're all sipping beers over there. I don't even know what to tell you. I feel like they celebrate wins like we celebrate the um, winning the, the, NL, the, the NLDS, yeah, beating the year. Dodgers. Every night we're drinking beers, dancing. If we yeah, had. dude, I don't know. It, this has been the most inconsistent good team that I've ever seen. All the stats show. Every stat you could pull up from any stat fucking man out there will tell you the Padres are a good team. Yep. Record, though, does not show for it. I mean, it's every night it's win and then lose and then win and then lose and then w- win, win three in a row, lose, lose three ten in a row. row. You know, like entering tonight, I think they were three and seven in the last ten. We talked about it. They were getting their ass whooped. This series, though, felt like a change from the Grand Slam and then tonight's game, score a couple of runs uh, early. Or it was one nothing. Yeah, uh, to get down. Yeah, to get down, and then the Padres fight back to score three runs, um, and then Fernando fucking Tatis. What a star! What a beast! What a legend! I I just I the whole situation. So Fernando Tatis gets a base hit. Base hit. Two out base knock. Pitcher is e one left handed, who just entered the game. Yep. After, after the shot. after the base hit, yep. they put a left-handed pitcher in the face uh Juan Soto. Left-handed pitcher stares him down, throws over once. Tati slides back. Throws over a second, and Tati steals. Or like he wasn't even throwing yet, and Tati's took off. Mm-hmm. So it felt like Tati's obviously timed it wrong. Um, but that guy was just sitting there. Goes and then throw back to first to try to get Tatis in a situation. Throws away. Throws away. Tatis runs, stops for a second at, at second, and then ends up at third. Um, and we're we're all enjoying this moment because yes. it was obviously it was good enough at that moment. It didn't feel like he was gonna. I mean, yeah. with Tatis on the bases, you never know what's gonna happen yeah. because I've seen it now twice that he's stolen the base in that situation where the pitcher throws over and Tatis makes it to second before that next throw. Right. So, I mean, Tatis is fucking fast, but it's a bad throw. Tatis ends up at third and then middle of the Juan Soto at bat. I want to say it's 2-0. No. no. Yeah, he got a couple pitches. It was it was 0-2, oh, 0-2, I think, because I looked up the next pitch was 1-2. So I think it was 0-2, maybe 0-1, I don't know. I think it was the second pitch of that. It doesn't bat. even matter because Tatis stole home without there being a fucking pitch thrown. Yeah. The ball didn't even leave the pitcher's The pitcher was hand. staring at the first baseman, and Tatis stole home. The, the like, pitcher didn't even flinch yeah. until Tatis' didn't even flinch. toes was crossed at the, first the fucking baseman. home. Oh, my yeah. God. was lovely. was lovely. And then Jake Cronenworth makes a spectacular 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 play uh leaping off of his feet to make a catch diving catch it was so nice um, now you were reverting back to the old spangenberg spectacular <laughs> spectacular <laughs> short-lived um but yeah cronenworth absolutely full extension off his feet makes a laying out catch um, great defense yeah we have to hope that this is gonna build the momentum because you don't see a guy steal home often um, you don't see a grand slam often in Slam Diego anymore. So those are two things back to back nights that. Um, and then we saw this team. It felt like they turned up. Yeah, it this felt like the defense turned up. It felt like, you know, 
And then we didn't even mention Ben Gamble yesterday. Ben Gamble gets pulled up, starts in his first game, has a fucking nice day. Yeah. Uh, I read the article. He said getting that first fly out of the first at bat of the two game. Two fly out first, first inning. And he said that took all the nerves out of him. And he's just ready to play. And they interviewed him before the game. And his last quote of the video, it, it fucking stuck with me. He's like, I just want to win out there with the boys. Yep, and I that one like hit home. Like you know, they're asking all these big, heavy questions in the clubhouse and how to feel. He's like, I just want to go out there and win with the boys. He's been hammering minor league pitching this year in AAA. He's a veteran in this fucking league, so he's just working his way back. Padres trade for him from the Durham, uh, the Rays AAA team. <laughs> Bull Durham. You mean the. Mo- did you say Rays minor league team? Rays triple A team. What else is going on about the Rays and minors? <laughs> oh, holy shit. He's on your fantasy team. I traded his bitch ass. I traded him. <laughs> Wander Franco has gotten himself into a little bit of a sticky situation. And when I mean a little. You mean a minor one. A I minor mean a minor. One. Minor And I mean he likes minors crazy whoa and not just like well man she turns 18 in a day 17 yeah. 17 or 17 18, 18. like what the fucking weirdos no. used to say back in the years day before that uh buddy <laughs> buddy she's not even in high school no gross. <laughs> so gross no, she might have just got into high school I she's 14 jeez so uh, the reports are a little sticky because this could be one of those false claim situations or something, but the pictures that it came out have not helped. Who knows? Jet, and, Jet it was tweeting about it. Yeah, when Jet Passons on it, dude, I don't know. It might be and locked got, down. didn't over. get uh, invited to the trip. The road trip. The road well, trip yeah, right? so they sat him for a game. Yeah. They left him for the series. And then now it's come out that the DR is totally looking into it, investigations. <laughs> and I think MLB will review. Um, what does he, what is, what do you think that suspension is worth? I don't even think I've ever heard like a situation like this before. Well, Buddy's going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, no. come on. I, I don't know what else to say. He's like, going to be the greatest player from jail since Michael Vick. Since freaking Paul Crew, dude. Well, there was a pitcher for <laughs> the pitcher for the Pirates a couple years ago. Uh, Felipe Rodriguez, maybe? Or? Felipe Vasquez. Vasquez. Wow, great call wow. right there. Great name, Paul. Guru. Um, this happened to him. No way. <laughs> and he's still serving his jail time for it. Oh, oh shit, really? really? Oh, yeah. This is fucking... This is a big deal. You don't mess with minors. <laughs> Back, Shit. Back. There, there's a hard age of consent. I mean, I don't have to. I don't worry about that. I'm not. Messing I don't with know minors. what the age of consent is in the Dominican. I hope it's not 14 or anywhere close to that. But it's weird in other countries. And money talks. Don't be surprised. What the fuck does that mean? Because I know it's 16 in what? some money countries. Talks? I know it's 16 in some Should countries. Under the you don't think he has an agent? You don't oh, think yeah, he, you don't think he has that room. Tatis deal? So the whole did you see the, the the Tatis story deal? that came out? What? So, ta- ta- the Tatis deal? Yeah, no. We're he not paid ta- to get out of the roids? No, 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 no. no. Uh... He paid <laughs> he paid the agent for a loan. They gave him like a million dollars, then the agent took the percent. Like that business took the percent of his contract. Oh, oh I thought you were talking so about So I like, guarantee Juan Franco has Tatis that same thing same because girls. on that uh that minor um uh <laughs> She had that big chain on her. Saw that picture. Yep, saw the big Wander Five chain. <laughs> yeah, I know that's not cheap unless it's fake. Unless no, Buddy's I, rocking fake stuff. No, I think that's his chain. and She's wearing it. Yeah, I think so too. So, so the the screenshots that uh, first surface were all in Spanish. So me myself, I was gonna wait till someone translated because you cannot read or understand <laughs> Spanish. No habla español. <laughs> I cannot read. No. <laughs> I cannot read Espanol. Google Translate? Ever heard of her? Uh, yeah, but then I would have to try to crop the messy Instagram <laughs> fucking post that someone fucking used 12 different font. I'm over that. <laughs> so I waited until someone else 
So they broke it down, and I guess they were arguing about money. And she wanted like two thousand dollars. What? <laughs> That's what it seemed like. This under thing. the rug. Yeah, yeah, she wanted some money or something. I don't know, man. But That's insane. It, it's it's a whole weird situation. I mean, at the end of the day, he's messing with minors. So, um, the jail. yeah, he, young man might have ruined his what would have been such a such a bright full career. That's probably why he was so good, literally in the minors. He loved minors. Oh no way! Oh, yuck! Bring out the handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> in this man an orange jumpsuit. <laughs> See you in ten years. They call me Creamsicle. <laughs> <laughs> they call me Carrot Top. <laughs> yeah, so I don't feel bad because you're messing with mine. How, old is, know, he? I, How old is he? Twenty uh, one? Or is he twenty two now? Twenty one. No, he's got to be like twenty two, twenty three. Like is he really? Yeah, he's a yeah. he's a he's younger than us. I'm twenty three, buddy. He's younger than you. He's younger yeah. than Tatis. I'll pull up a stat. A stat or his age. <laughs> I'll pull up a stat. This is an age stat? Is this a the minor age, stat? stat? I'll pull up a stat. Okay. Wonder Samuel Franco Ibar Sr., nicknamed El Patron, was born March 1st, 2001. Figure it out. 2001. He's younger than about old as my brother. Yep. And your brother can drink at a bar, right? 21, 22. Does your brother perhaps like 14 year olds? <laughs> Actually not. Actually, they're a bit out of his age gap. Yeah, a bit out, a bit of, out of the age range. Right. I mean, this is one of those situations where everyone who's defending Wander is going to be like, well, my mom and dad are about 25 years apart. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird, too. Yeah. Not going to lie. <laughs> but not going to be. I mean, here, it's, it's, it's very order. hard to defend this situation there's if you no defend him you're a scumbag there's no way to defend it yeah if you defend him you also are a petty file <laughs> <laughs> i don't know where else to go with this yeah um but yeah the Rays, wonder franco this is a this is a tough situation speaking also of the race moving back to baseball their ace shane mcclanahan tommy juan out for the year, so you do know Spanish. The rest of the year, <laughs> and next. Well, my my middle name is John. So, um, back to the Wander oh. Franco really quick. Don't be surprised if all of a sudden he gets popped for steroids, eighty game suspension. <laughs> oh, that's what you're calling. Oh. You're calling that this is just gonna get weirder. Yep, this whole situation is getting weirder. Yep, and it's gonna be I the same so. barber that Tatis went to, <laughs> <laughs> just to get Tatis looked at again. Okay, no, I'm over all that yeah. bullshit. Okay, Shane McClanahan out I'm for year. Over that bullshit. Nice. Um, Not I wanted nice. to. <laughs> I wanted to talk or uh, give a quick shout out. Um, Garrett Cole's having a sneaky good year on the worst Yankees team I've seen in forever. Forever, I've the big bad Yankees are the minor league Yankees now. The last place in their division. Can't make playoffs. Aaron Judge, big toe hurts. So I was watching a podcast, <laughs> and they had talked to a farmhand of the Yankees who has recently been let go and is no longer chasing the Major League Baseball dream, perhaps. Has retired, perhaps. Was in the Yankee system from 16 till 20 or something like that, or maybe 14 till 20. Um, Jackson Frazier? No, and was talking about Damn. the hitting coach being recently let go and said that their whole minor league system and the way that they were built was his program. That all the analytics that he ran and stuff, he said that they played a game a lot of the times for practice, like it was a game situation that the coach would put them in, and it was a hitter versus a pitcher, and no fielders or nothing. And it would be a point for a miss, like a whiff for the pitcher. And then the only way a hitter could score is if he hits a 95 mile an hour plus ball in return. Damn. Okay. And so it was just like all stats. He's all, they're not teaching us fundamental baseball. They're not teaching us sack bunts. They're not teaching us stolen bases. They're teaching us one V one situation, hitting a fastball 
hard contact. Like, that's totally different from the way he said that they were ran prior to the hitting coach arriving. Mm-hmm. And he says that the Yankees are going to take a definitely huge change back to the old way of operating. But who knows how they change in the coming seasons. But well, to that's be, what he to was be talking devil's about is that advocate. they're – they're so much more analytically built than fundamentally at this point. And that's what's the downfall of them. Same what I, and I was reading that and I was like, man, it's probably the same thing the Padres do. They're be, probably doing so many analytical things when we just need to be thinking and practicing just fundamentally sound baseball. To be the devil's advocate, Aaron Judge is on the Yankees and he hit 63 home runs last year. You can't do that without being fundamentally sound. And you can't do that with be, without being analytically sound. So, I don't know. Just a thought. One man don't win. He doesn't. But that, that's something that uh, we haven't seen since Roger Maris. And, and he's very injured this year. And who... Yeah, nowhere near the same numbers. Have you ever seen Roger Maris play? No. Never. Me either. So, long time ago. Yeah, long time ago. Um, but... Just to be devil's advocate, that theory may work. Not saying it will, but it might for one guy. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I'm not the biggest analytical guy. I mean, stats are one thing, but it's, at the end of the day, it's baseball. Yeah, it is baseball. Can you hit? Can you score? Like, I I am a fan of all these stats and, like, XBA and all this shit that they got going on. But one of my most favorite stats and that what my good old friend Frank the Tank lives and dies for is RBIs, the good old ribby, ribby. run, batted, ribby, ribby, ribby. in. And you know what's sad? What is that? Is that this year the San Diego Padres had introduced an 11-year contract with Xander Bogarts, and he has as many RBIs as Gary Sanchez, who's played in – about half as many games in that bats as Xander Bogarts has this season. Yeah, that's sad. That that's is sad. that is what keeps me up at night. Yeah, because but Gary does come from that Yankees little theory. old old system. He was he was 2018 that rookie year when he fucking hammered the most homers for catching as a rookie. How many years was he on the team? One? Or maybe yeah, no. I was, maybe he was long 2016 time? rookie. Yeah. Maybe really? He's a long he's at least 5 years on the Yankees. Really? Yeah. yeah he's like 31. Damn. But I mean, Gary hits a lot of home runs and as I think I saw on Twitter, he leads the league in home runs by a catcher since May 31st with 16 home runs since coming. Um 16 home runs I haven't seen 16 home runs from a Padres catcher since Mike Piazza. And half of you don't even know who Mike Piazza is. And half of you don't even know if Mike Piazza was on the Padres. And that's sad. <laughs> you guys complain about the dumbest shit. About one year. Yeah, one year. Him and Greg Maddox, dogs. Oh, Greg Maddox is a Padre? Yeah, yeah for a couple of years, I think. No, one. one. Two, actually. I think, then yeah. we trade him the Dodgers, I think. Of course. Yeah. Whatever. Doesn't matter. End of, end of life. Um, but yeah, I was complaining about Xander. He's been heating up a little bit, but it's just definitely not what the Padres. I was, for. I was looking at his numbers um, yesterday. I think um, he's sitting like two seventy three right now, two seventy four. Um, so average wise, like there, but like you're saying, the power numbers, the RBIs, the on the on base plus slugging, the OPS is not there at all. Um, and that sucks because he's had. I look at his numbers, and his OPS is the same as his rookie year OPS. Yeah, and I do understand this is a total new situation for him. Yep. I mean, he was a long-time farmhand for the Red Sox. Signed as a young kid. You from know, Aruba. From Aruba. Had played his entire career donning that red uniform. You know, multiple World Series to up and change your career to switch to a whole other league to face pitchers you've never even heard of before, you know. And then on the West Coast, the time's different. You have a lot more travel because the teams – there's a lot more teams in the east side of our map, obviously, Yeah. Um, than the uh, west. And, you know, it's, it's a little different 
it's going to take time, but it has not been what we wanted and need. Wait till you hear this stuff. So far. Guess who leads the Padres in hits? Ever, forever? Like, nope, just this year. Hasan Kim? Who do you think? Yeah, I, it might be Hasan Kim, actually. He has Xander Bogarts. Does he? You're lying. So where you got to look it up. I'll stop. I'll stop check myself because I know I'm right. Well, Hasan Kim's having our best batting season so far. Definitely. Damn, he's, been our, he's been our MVP of the team. Definitely. It has been Hassan Kim has been outstanding. Out fucking yeah, standing. You're right. Xander Bogarts has 119. Tatis has 114. Hassan Kim has 112 with Juan Soto. Yep. Damn. A lot of singles, though. That's what that means to me. A lot of singles. 20 doubles for Xander. 12 bombs, though. That's and 41. But he's only hit he's only hit 20 home runs in in four seasons as his whole career. 20 or more in four seasons. What does yeah, his average? Sense. His average, he's been, he's cranking, dude. He hits like 300. His last four years, I looked at it, OPS plus. No, I'm talking about like average home runs a year. Oh, I don't know his average, but tw- he's only hit, he's played. It's 12. Like, he's played 12 11 years. Well, tw- 12 in August. He could definitely hit four more and have 16, 17, you know, that, yeah, that'd be years. average. Oh, okay. But his, his uh, OPS slugging wise. He, the last th- last four years he has eight fifty or higher, and then this year he's at like a, a seven hundred. Yeah, and I'm like, geez, that's like, those are your extra base hits. You know, that's yeah. that's how that stat to me is how pure of a hitter you are. If you're in the eight hundreds, nine hundreds, Juan Soto had had a thousand one year. That's yeah. unheard of. Like that does not happen. Right. Or he had nine ninety nine. My bad. But Bryce Harper when he won MVP. Thousands. The yeah. Padres haven't had someone who's uh, OBP has been in a thousand in a long time. Yeah, like for the full season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Manny last year, if you look at his numbers, I think he was probably in the eight fifties, and like he had an outstanding year. Yeah. Even it, it's Tatis because is... OBP is on base plus slugging, so it's your walks plus your extra base hits. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's such a key stat, is because. It factors that's why in. Juanzo has been so high. Well, that's, that's why his, his is so high. Right yeah. now, I think I saw on MLB's Instagram, he's at like a 9, 18, 920 or something yeah, like that. So 909. And like, you don't, that doesn't translate to what like you see every day. Right. But then you look at that, you're like, damn, he's like a good, good hitter. Here, right. He's he's a good hitter. Right. And I don't know. The casual fans, they don't, they don't see, he had a slow start. You know, they haven't seen the Juan Soto hype, I guess, that has been brought from san diego but i mean if we died if we died digress that trade that happened cj abrams okay robert hassel a third so, haven't heard so of this, him. that trade is literally going to end up being is james, james wood and i read that espn article today and he's like the fourth ranked prospect yeah, in baseball fourth or fifth across the map damn that's that's good like they they fought for him that was like the that was the key trade piece that what that's what took the deal so long is that AJ was like fuck fine take all these guys but Woods was the it was either Woods or Merrill and he chose to keep Merrill mm-hmm. which doesn't and, make sense and Merrill's me. the ninth prospect in baseball now yeah so he's had a he's had a rise out of nowhere Ian and Salas is top ten as well yeah and I've been seeing he's been playing literally everywhere first base second base shortstop third base I think he's played one game in the outfield even. Um, so, I mean, if he's comfortable doing all that, you know, Hassan Kim, he, he might get a bag somewhere in a couple years. No, we don't, we hope not. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. I ain't fucking leaving. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see. I'm fucking, I'm fucking leaving. I'm fucking leaving. Yeah, no, I, he's definitely took a way bigger step than I, I have ever imagined. Yeah. Hassan Kim has been the heart and soul of this team. Do you this believe year. it's the axe handle? Do you believe in magic? <laughs> I don't, and but yeah, uh, Hazan Kim swears by it, so yeah, I do. Yeah, no, I mean, he says so, it, it, he says it's uh, the shape of it is being able for him to get his hands around faster, faster wrists, yeah, faster wrists faster so that gets your hands around the ball to the, to the ball faster. Yeah, it makes sense. But so, I mean, uh, it's all about comfortability, it's all stuff. about that. Point and one is second, does lead off have to do anything with it? No, I just I think, think he's both, comfortable. I, I think he's comfortable. I, yeah, I think he is very comfortable in the situation we've asked him to put himself in. He's so calm, dude. 
out there, even when he's making his defensive plays, like calm, so collective. Calm. Yeah, dude, he has the he heart rarely of the I feel like he the fundamentals you were talking about, bro. He is fundamentals to the T. Every ground ball, he's fucking yeah, square it up. Yeah, double, square double hands, Man, perfect throw through. every time. Yeah. Yes, yes. I rarely see him put emotion on the field either. Right. I don't no. see him screaming no. like. Fuck yeah! He, he smiles he gets, a lot. He gets he upset smiles. at himself when he misses a pitch. So. Right. Oh, he gets upset at himself. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a true. great player. Love him. I, I, I am. I'm so glad I was a fan from day one. Yeah. The Hassan Kim. Yeah. Hi. Hassan so handsome. Was so hype. I want to trade him. Still. Two years ago. Can't. Still though. No, I wanted to bad. Mm. Absolutely love him. Do you think we get Xander Bogarts though? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> was never there. expecting that. Yeah, I'm still second guessing that one. To yeah, the last day. Um, there's been a lot of Twitter. He said, she said, while the Padres lose, everyone wants a new manager. Everyone wants a new general manager. Everyone wants. Um, I hate Bob to tell Mellon's the fans the this, but when you go and get a veteran, you trade for a veteran manager. You're not going to let him go after middle of year two. Well, how long did we sign him for? Oh, buddy, he, he's gonna be we here. Traded for him. Yeah, we traded I for know, him, and then I, I think we gave him an extension. But he's gonna be here for a little bit. How do you even do that? That's insane. That is insane. So insane. Trading managers. Dude. And I saw uh, the last time I I remember it happening was the Red Sox traded for John Farrell from the Blue Jays, won a World Series. I uh, saw. Insane. In Oakland, when he was in Oakland, he had the best uh, extra innings and one run game, like win percentage over 500. His teams love to fight and claw, win in extra innings. And then this year, the Potters are 0 and 11, I think, in extra innings and 1 and 12 in one run games. Yeah, so like I mean, that. it's a little bit of bad luck, but it's a little bit too. Yeah. Of I think the difference is Bob Melvin hasn't had these mega stars. The yeah, zero ego team that has all egos. That uh, it's full of fucking guys who've made every dollar they deserved and uh, you know deserve deserve deserve. He's, He's been a dogs. manager He's of dogs, dogs, grinders, grit. Mm, yeah, that's, that's why he saw Hassan Kim put him in the leadoff. He said, "I want this guy. I want the grit." Right square day one he's gonna right. show me he's gonna fucking earn and bite every ass cheek in the <laughs> like fucking yeah like yeah. dan campbell and that's probably why jake cronworth got an extension i mean those he's are the dog. type of the guys he's but dog. we need them to show up and show out we need manny machado to be a dog right and now he's fucking this is on the porch he's been good in july since july yeah, I mean, the team feels like they've gotten better, but at the same time, they go into a fucking weird slump. Yeah, so weird it's, ruts. It's so hard to sort of feel it out. It's so hard to podcast about this team. I, yeah, I'd love to so do a podcast hard. every week, but every week it's been the same. Like, this entire season has been mid. If you look throughout the year, it's literally, oh, WL, WL, WL. Like, this team is the middle 500 pack, and, you know. This team's bipolar. This fuck. team's very bipolar. Um but I don't think it's the the general manager's fault. I don't think it's the manager's fault. Trevor has been saying this for a long time. The players got to play. The players have to win. It's what they can do. Yeah, Bob could only do so much keeping those guys together and not fighting each other and not losing the clubhouse and hating each other. But, you know, at the end of the day, this team hasn't been able to really come around. Just yet. click. I have never seen them click, and it's right. so sad. Last year, it felt like they clicked so many times. Yeah. There were so many runs and so many games that it just felt on top of the world. These last two games have felt that way. Yeah, it's and pretty good. I'll say it. I, I've been saying it a little bit. I don't know if I said it on the podcast yet, but being in the position where we're at, the only way to make playoffs is if we go on a run. And then if we go on a run, we make playoffs. We're going to be the hottest team in, in playoffs. And what do we like to say about the hottest team in playoffs? We haven't been hot all year. Like, <laughs> this is what we have to do. I'm not saying all year. No. Like, if we if it. we want to make playoffs, we have to go. We, we have to get. To we have to. Yeah. Like, we can't do win loss. Have an insane run. Right. And then the team that's always hot in the playoffs. If you can get hot in the playoffs, you never Perfect know what happens. Perfect time. Hot going into the playoffs. It doesn't matter if you're number one all fucking year. It's if you finish September 
Yeah. On a run yeah. into the playoffs, you fucking usually keep it going. That's scary. That's scary. And so that's what we're looking to, and that's what they need to be looking to. And that moment felt like it started yesterday, and it feels like it's going. The grand slam, the stolen base, you know, everything worked today. Blake Snell, again, six innings, two runs. That's fucking money. Yeah. Two solo homers. That's what I could ask from you. If you're going to give up a homer, it better be a solo. solo. Right. You know, and then we had the bullpen come in. Nicky Meatballs, as DSG likes to say. Nicky Meatballs. Dude, I fucking love the nickname. <laughs> Nicky Meatballs, dude. I'm a big fan. I, he's fucking – he shoves it too. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I I, lo- I loved it today. And then we saw fucking – Big Bob, Big Bob Big Suarez, Suarez big, yeah. big time Bob Suarez. Gave up one, but tight, didn't he? Right? What? Gave up a run. He was the one to Rushman, right? Yeah, yeah. Some yeah. dumb doesn't matter. All still good. gravy, still gravy though. And yeah. then he had Hater come in. Hater, Uno two point two innings yeah. all month. And guess what? At least do your job when you're called upon. Three right? saves right. all month. And guess what? Do your job once called upon. But we call him on him sometimes, and he says no. Do your job once you called upon. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a point, point eight ERA. Yeah. Speaking about do your job once called upon, Matt Carpenter finally got his first at bat, and God knows fucking how long. I think it, it was, was July 24th. July 24th, mid July. And then before coach. that, it was like a month as well. Yeah. Um. So the Padres have been operating with a 25 man roster while the entire other. 29 teams have 26 man rosters. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. sucks being a player down, but is that bad? He didn't look like he missed a beat at all. Literally <laughs> looked no. completely normal. Right. Completely right. the same he has all season. All season Nothing One, changed. two, three, K. Get back to fucking your seat. Yeah. Retired. Dude. Been bad. We I don't him. get it. What we did we see in him? What did we see in him? We saw this we year saw last year? we saw a 40 game sample size in the small stadium in baseball. That's what we saw. Yeah, he played for the Yankees for 40 games and absolutely shit on balls. Hit like 350. 350 12 bombs in like 40 games, dude. That is insane. That's all that's all I could ask for. I think he's bad a 166. And your color thought that was fucking gold? Yeah, give him to your deal. Yeah, two and years. <laughs> we got him for on the hook for two years. Boot him now. Boot him. That's why they haven't cut we him because we have him for two year deal. We can't boot him, and I hope he retires. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. He can, he we can retire. force him to retire. I hope. But would you retire if you're post. getting paid six million dollars the next year? Absolutely not. No shot. Nobody would. Six million, please. You get Thank six million you. to just sit there and check out six every million, please. every at bat and eat all the gum, chew all the chew, eat all the be seeds. with all the boys, drink the beers after the game. You know you're not playing oh tomorrow. God. He I checked have, out, and I have six million in the bank account. Yeah, where's and the, I'm in San Diego. Where's the pinata? I and I'm in San Diego. I wish I had his life. <sighs> yeah, you get called upon once every month to have that bat, and you just said yeah. uno dos audio strike three. Yeah, I'm gonna look, look at, at three me. pitches, <laughs> three million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah the old uh carpenter experiment has not worked out as a, has a lot of uh a lot of these guys who i really wanted to pan out have not the preseason podcast that we were talking about when aj makes all these little veteran moves that i loved have not panned out nope the train none of them the have been that signed. we loved literally the, none of them have been signed walk has been pretty good walka Whoa, good good call right there, Roman, because we did offer him a weird contract late, and he's been every dollar worth of Makes it. Makes a bag right. next year. Right. If we opt in. Got so, a little hurt, but he's back. So that's always been Walker's problem, is he always gets a little hurt. Really? Yeah. Always. Every year. Didn't seem like too long of a time this time, though. It was a whole month. How long was he down? Okay, never yeah, mind. It was a long time. I think a little over a month, actually. Never mind. Long yeah, time. I think it was like end of June. He got hung up before All Star break. Looked nice though. A great return. I mean, he was pitcher of the month. Had a great return. I mean, we're gonna need him for the stretch. So if you need to miss a month and the fucking hot month, fuck it. Yeah, and and the uh, the media keeps asking Bob Melvin, why are you pitching Rich Hill over Pedro Avila? And that motherfucker, Dick Mountain, he yeah. sucks. <laughs> Oh my God! So you guys were hype on him. So I think you guys were all, oh, he's old, but he duck and throw strikes. He's uh, he's the best. Dick Mountain, Dick Mountain. Well, he's he has fucking... he has seen two good teams. What is he? Over. What is he? He's Dick Valley. Yeah. He's fucking 
He's digging, fucking digging right, the dirt. He's right down the dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the old fucking right down the dick. Right, right. The old whip the fucking head back real quick. He's about dick high. Yeah. Fuck. So um I honestly think we might be seeing a war between Bob Melvin and AJ Preller. And a little bit of that is the first manager to do it. Not playing carp and then Starting Rich Hill every fucking time yeah. because you're gonna go get me a 43 year old in the middle of a fucking playoff race. That is insane, bro. So yeah. I, I definitely think that's a little bit of Bob biting back, going, "This is not my fault. This is your guy, right? Yeah, you got me these fucking pieces. You, of you shit. wanted me to play these guys. I'm gonna play, and it's fucking. Nice. That's all Bob Melvin can do, too. Right. And but yeah. at the same time, Rich Hill is a starting pitcher, and Pedro Villa is a young pitcher and out of our pen this year. So yeah, it, the but piggyback it, is gonna be the, yeah. The piggyback is absolutely necessary for that. Like yeah, people yeah, don't see that. Hundred percent. He literally said, "Oh, I'm gonna pitch Rich Hill, and then Avila is probably gonna come in right after him." Like yeah. immediately, you need after. guys to just get innings. Literally, the game. What I was taught as a pitcher growing up is get outs. As you can get outs, you're gonna have a job for the longest time. Yeah. High school, college. MLB, whatever yeah. you can get out. Right. Doesn't matter how. Doesn't matter how. Yeah, there's a thing called a, a fly ball pitcher, a ground ball pitcher, a strikeout pitcher. Right. What are you? Right. I heard about how do you me. how do you get out? I was a strikeout pitcher myself. <laughs> <laughs> You're a strikeout pitcher in, in softball now, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sir. Actually, I got two K's yesterday. Why don't you play in the senior citizen league? That's not fair. Does it matter? Man. <laughs> You're striking out Rich Hill in that bitch. How many deaths? One. <laughs> How many heart attacks? That was the one. <laughs> okay. Um. What else? Many, no, I'm not gonna say. I mean, we can talk about the rest of the league, but I honestly, this has been average takes, Bob, and I haven't been paying attention to the rest of the league. Me too. I've been watching. Positive so I league. could tell you and that the Braves are very good. The Dodgers are climbing very, right behind them with the territory yeah. of very good. Um, I saw a stat. Matt Olson is having an almost exact year as one of Barry Bonds' years. Oh, shit. That's fucking crazy. No way. If he could keep it up, he might have 60 homers. That's what insane. At? He's at 40. Yeah. What's the average? That's the average. Is Luis Arias still at 40? If you can hit 40, if you can eclipse. Like 370. Yeah, he went down. If you can eclipse 40, you're a home run hitter. One of the people I follow on Twitter, uh, he goes, that's why we don't talk about averages in June. Yeah. <laughs> they, pulled up, they pulled up a stat that was like 376 or something. He's like, that's why we don't talk about averages in June. <laughs> don't get me wrong. 376 is, is absolutely insane. It's an unfucking real right. season. But right. no, there was no shot he was getting 400 anywhere close When to he was just teetering the line for the fucking the whole month. Yeah. month. Yeah. There's yeah. no shot. I mean, I could have called that one my shot. My shot. Uh, but the Marlins have been dog shit. Dog shit. And we have them coming up, don't we? I could tell you I think we're in about three seconds. Monday. We have you might be right. the Diamondbacks for four, and then we have the Marlins for three. You're right. You must so, have tickets. Are you going? Uh, you caught me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Trevor. Yeah, I'm there on Monday. Oh, actually. that is yeah. fucking rad, dude. That is rad. <laughs> Oh, you caught him fair yeah. and square. But yeah, the Marlins haven't been great. The Angels haven't been great since the trade deadline. Yeah, Phil Neville's pissed. The Yankees day. haven't been great since the trade deadline. No, what other good. teams? Oh, that's about enough. That's about enough. <laughs> that's about enough. Of the, Everyone else of has the been line. pretty fucking it's, average. Yeah, pretty average. I mean, across the line. I mean, the Rangers have been pretty good since the trade deadline because yeah. they've made a lot of good moves. Uh, the Dodgers have been really good to the, the best team since the trade deadline. Actually, I think they're like sixteen and two, and their trades have all panned out except Joe Kelly already elbow inflammation IL. Nice. That was yeah, immediately didn't they, following. Aren't the Dodgers like nine and zero right now? Nine game win streak. Yeah, I think. Or so. is that I bullshit? Think, I don't know. I swear they can just hit whenever they want to hit. The, they can click whenever they want to click. Yeah, the Dodgers. The, the Dodgers is, coaching it's system insane. is unreal. I don't understand it, bro. I feel like that's why it's always a nail biter when that they, when they're playing us because it feels like they can just turn it on for one second. But if you ask like five Dodger run, fans, a five run lead is not enough. Like bro. if you ask like real Dodger fans, they'll tell you, "Oh, we're gonna win the division," but the playoffs, I have no idea what happens. Right. Like they, 
you can't they can oh, say under the lights they get <laughs> yep the pressure tightens their butthole what do i do how do i play playoffs, swing playoffs i'm playing the padres <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they don't want that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm not gonna speak on it. <laughs> it's too, it's too far out of sight for me. Yeah, I told you guys. It's, it's about 40 games. I think left. it's too late. We need to get hot now, like you said. Yeah, that's it. Right, fucking meow, meow. Well, it's possible. Two known or less two. It's always possible. And we're playing the Diamondbacks, who are 15 games ahead of us. We need to fucking win all three. They're only three games. There's three games ahead of us. The Dodgers are 15. Really? I thought it was D-backs. No, D-backs are only three. You must have looked at it cross-eyed. <laughs> might have. You, <laughs> might have you must have saw uh, the Manny Machado with 13 right there. <laughs> no, um, I'm trying to think. Who else? What else? You guys want to have a little fun topic? What do you think fucking Otani's about to get, bro? They're talking about paying him as a two-way player, like two-person player. So if you Shenny, break it down, Shenny, Shenny thought I was. No Shenny thought it, the tweet was way bad, but he was. I, the tweet said eight hundred million. No, yeah, eight hundred million. Something. So if you break it down, really, bro? Let's say Manny Machado got three hundred fifty. Uh, Garrett Cole got three hundred fifty. For how he's, many years? He's both of them combined. Manny uh, Otani's both of them combined. Right. So teams are gonna. Teams that would be seven hundred. Teams are gonna present contracts for every option because one. This is going to be the crazy – I think it's going to be the craziest contract of all time because but, he is a two-way player. He yeah. plays two positions. He's almost like a fucking quarterback and a fucking cornerback, like two crazy so positions. Insane. It's crazy. So I definitely think there's going to be so many fucking random things in that contract. Like if he gets hurt, if he could only be – if he reverts to only a – One person. A, yeah. a header. If he's yeah. only a DH outfielder, if he's only a pitcher – Right. You know, the contract changes dramatically, right. you know. I think that's going to be all in there because some team's going to give him a 10-year deal. But I do – I think his first three or four years, maybe even five, he'll be making the highest paid player in the league. That's insane. Because that's oh, what – I saw that number, my jaw dropped all the way to – You have to think – That's way too much money for you're paying. Person. You're you're paying for that about three to four years of duality of pitcher and hitter because, I mean, maybe he can go the rest of his career, but that's – Unrealistic yeah. to ask him. He's to a do. top and ten in both. Eight hundred million, twelve years. That's he's a, a top. He's a top ten in both. Yeah, top ten hitter, top ten pitch. And he's a little older. Like he's not. He's not twenty six, twenty five. Right off. Right, right out of. He's. I think he's like twenty eight right now. Twenty twenty nine even maybe. Yeah, because yeah. he's been here for a little bit now. Yeah, maybe even thirty. I don't know, but right. twelve years. He's forty two. No, way, you can't expect bro. him to no be way. pitching two hundred innings, no hitting way. fifty 29. bombs. Right. It's twenty nine. 29 but so still, 12 years and 29 is 40 40 yeah close to it whatever you just can't and he's making 30 million a year right now yeah yeah it's gonna jump up to 350 million a year <laughs> i think he can get 60 just, does anyone make 60 does judge make 60 a year right now no. who's highest played i think sure is or verlander is highest what is average that? i think he's at like 52 yeah. or no oh, 40 he's gonna get oh. 87. He's at 42, I think. Something I think he like signed that. a two year, $84 million deal. But that's just for one pitcher. Right. That's all he does. And he's, and he's 40. So they double it then. You would have, I, so how they'll structure it front loaded to double right. it, I think. He's making 100 mil a year. But so then at the end, he'll, he can just do. But what I think is he's going to be a DH closing pitcher, which is the most electric position you can be in baseball. DH closing pitch. You just that's hit gonna bombs? be so fucking and cool. in the ninth, bro. Oh that's my god, that's gonna be so sick. He'll when be he's been worth in the lineup all day, day, and then all of a sudden in the ninth, and he's fucking before the next start, oh he's my just god, and they're just pumping 101. Years. He'll be 35, just pumping. We're seeing 101. some legendary stuff right now. Oh, for sure, because this is not what Babe Ruth did. Babe Ruth no. did one and then the one other. Fictional he did not do both. He was not real. Yeah, not well, real. yeah. But the story of Babe Ruth <laughs> is that he did one and then changed to the other and was legendary at both. Right? Yeah. The story of Shohei Otani is that he's become legendary at both at the same goddamn time. Insane. Yeah. No one. Insane. And the best part, like... We're watching our Michael you, Jordan. You can play... Right? You can hit the baseball with Tommy John. We just saw Bryce Harper do it. Bryce Harper had Tommy John back in like three months, felt like. Oh, Shohei did this. Shohei had Tommy and then was only a hitter. Really? Yeah, for one year, yes. Yeah. But when? In, in here? You say it's early. Yeah, in the early, early yeah. It's, it's like first year. Yeah. Second year or something like that. Yeah. Damn. 
It's yeah, Shohei was not great right off rip. Shohei had the yips right off rip. It was not good. Well, yeah, this is his first jump out year, maybe last year, but. And then he, and he lived in Anaheim. <laughs> That's got to be horrible. Yeah, LA. 800 million? Bro? LA just horrible. What does that convert to if he goes back? To what? Japan? Yeah. Probably like. Is it more or less? Probably one one point seven million. I'm not even going to assume. One point seven billion dollars. No, one point seven billion yen. Yen. <laughs> Is yen billion? I hope so. <laughs> it's a lot of money. No, I did see. He's going to be able to buy the country. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> I think it was about the Wander Franco thing, and it was like, oh, twenty thousand dollars U.S. One point five million dollar Dominican money, and I was like, Jesus, <laughs> holy fuck, that's absolutely crazy. No, it's like a hundred of their pennies is one of our pennies. Yeah, <laughs> insane, insane. That's, that's wild. They're paying two hundred fifty bucks for a cheeseburger. <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Fuck, man. 60 bucks for a 1500 for a cheeseburger. Well, this has been Average Shakes. Love you guys. Uh, the Padres, two and on their last two. Got to go on a sweep. We got to win more than three in a row. The Diamondbacks, this four games, going to be a huge one. Come back to this one. We're in the playoffs. You got to be hot now. Got to turn hot now. Football on the way. Don't worry about it. Football yes, on the way. Preseason yes. predictions Great to bring on it up. the way. On the way. NFL soon. Very can't wait. Maybe next week you see NFL predictions maybe. or like divisions or Ooh, who knows. Mm. Maybe a f- maybe something. Maybe something. All right, nothing wrong with being average. Go Chase. Steelers. Go Chargers. Go Steelers. Chargers. You guys could you guys could do this all day. Char-